Hey, it's Joe Glines from The Automator, and uh, you probably are aware we recently launched our Intro to GUIs course with AutoHotKey, and I wanted to demonstrate a, a simple use of a GUI, not probably in the way that you're normally using them, but just a, an idea, right? Here's a great way that you can use GUIs, um, and so I'm right now recording with OBS, right? Open Broadcast System, I think it stands for. Great tool, openware, you know, uh, free. You can do so much with it. It's very, very powerful. Uh, amazing tool. One thing I don't like about it is the uh, the webcam here. Now, if I move it around, oh, grabbed the wrong thing. Whoa, hey, come on. So if I move the webcam, it uh, I just moved it in front of this text here. The problem is on my screen, I'm going to use my screen clipping tool, right? If I show you this, I don't see that webcam on the screen I'm looking at. I have to be paying attention to a different screen and somehow realize that I have text in front of the webcam, right? So even when it's over here, sometimes it happens and it's really, really annoying to do a lot of work. And then people say, hey, I couldn't see what you were doing because the webcam was in front of it. And so what I thought of was like, hey, what if I created a GUI that was on top that actually is where the webcam sits? And so that's what this little script here does. Um, for the single instance force, just make sure there's only one instance of it. No tray icon, that'll prevent it from showing up down here, which really doesn't matter. Uh, disable tray taskbar icon. This prevents this window from showing up here, which you may or may not care about. I might have this on the other screen, so maybe I wouldn't care about that. Um, resize and always on top. This allows me to be able to resize it and have it always on top in case I want to change the size of it, but I want it always on top because I might be switching programs and I want this one to always be there because my webcam is always there, right? Um, now here, I'm changing the font size of the text. Now, you don't have to have text in this. However, I, I thought of a really great example of, of what you can do with this here in a minute. Uh, so we're changing it to size 20. Uh, you, this is the hex value, I think, for a red color. Um, you could put, I think, the word red in here, which we'll, we'll try that in a bit. Um, and then just some text. So this will be the size fonty, font 20 of webcam area and display it at these coordinates. So let's go ahead and run it. So there you can see it. You can see it, of course, because right now I had moved my webcam. Now let me move this back. I'm going to move the webcam. Oh, darn it. I thought I had to highlight it. There we go. Now I'm going to move that. Now notice that GUI disappeared. But on my screen, right, on my screen, I can still see this thing that says webcam area. So it's a reminder for me that, like, you guys can't see this, right? So it's a really great reminder for me. And no matter what I do, it's going to stay you know, up and visible there. I actually maybe want to lock it because it's rare I move the webcam around, um, but it's, it is nice that it's, it's here. And then what I realized was, hey, you know what? Let's, uh, let's add another, let's, let's actually change uh, the font color and size. So let's make it to 12 font and let's just say black, right? Because we need to change the settings. Now, all this I learned in the, the GUI, Intro to GUIs course, right? It's all straightforward stuff. And I'm going to borrow from here because I'm really lazy. Um, hello world. Let's do a tick mark in for a new line. How are you? I could add another text uh, control, but now notice, oh, sorry. Ironically, you can't see what I'm doing because it's behind that, right? So now the text is in here. What's great about this is I could actually remove this webcam area text if I want. I could put little cheat sheets so I don't have to remember everything or have it on another screen. I can literally have it on this screen and y'all couldn't see it, right? Which I think is really cool. If when you're creating videos, you can have a little list of cheat sheet things, your notes, your bullets, right? And have them and people are like, wow, how is he doing all this stuff, right? You're remembering it. No, I just made a little thing here. Um, now, uh, real quickly, now, what, what I what I really would like to do is to, I tried looking at this um, to try to see if I could detect where the webcam is and programmatically you'll get that and move this. I didn't see a way in OBS to go easily get that. So maybe I'll save that for a later date. However, what I would like to be able to do is to close it and have it remember the area. So I'm not gonna do that in this video, but I do wanna show you at least how I came up with these coordinates, right? So if you uh, if you right click any running script, um, the Windows Spy tool, I have a hotkey for it too, but this will launch it um, and here I just came up. Oh, do we gotta no it should be oh no. Um let's go. So nineteen seventy uh and is it mouse position? Is it not? Oh follow mouse, here we go. 
There we go. So 1132 and 76. So, oh, but you know what? Let's move it to where. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look on my screen and um, get this back in front of the camera. And then I'm going to mouse click or put, move my mouse there and get the coordinates are 1296, 109. So 1296 and 109. I'm going to save this and relaunch it. Oh, and I got that wrong. How did I do that? Let's try this again. Okay. Uh, move it back where I want it. Let's get this bad guy. Um, yeah, 11, 16, 333. 11, 16, and I think that was 333. There we go. I don't know. Obviously, you can rewind the video and see what I did wrong. But um, now I have the coordinates of where the current webcam is. And, and again, what I would do is, you know, save this to an any file. And then that way it's going to remember where the last one it was. Have it load that at the time if the file's there loaded. If it's not there, um, maybe ask you to set it. Uh, but it's a, it's a very easy way to do this, right? And GUIs are, uh, with AutoHockey, they're very easy to use, uh, easy to control, to create. I'm going to be adding GUIs to some of my other scripts and updating them and just showing, giving you guys ideas, right, of how you can use GUIs in your scripts. So uh, I hope that helps. And cheers. Have a great day. Oh, always look in here. And you'll be a coupon code. Let me, let me, I think I have it in quick access pop up here. So posts, um, intro to GUIs. Yeah, this is the, the URL. You can get rid of this. This is the URL that'll, that'll get you a, a coupon code for the course if you're interested. I uh, hope that helps. Cheers.